just got out of my cheapest and uh, I don't really have any plans for the day um, until I have to go to work at like 4.30 so I'm really tired I think I'm gonna go and take a nap I don't know this is not gonna be a good vlog day I tell you what because because uh, of work being in the middle of my editing schedule <laughs> but um so I'm gonna go home and I'll do my way in when I get there and then probably eat take a nap hmm. we'll see all right 199.0 today so there you go all right so that was um what tool 1.0 199.6 and 199 flat for an average of 199.8 so we're just gonna call it 200 and fucking whatever so there we go there's my starting point um, I know the conditions like weren't the exact same every day but uh, we're just gonna roll with it see what happens so I will be weighing in again on May 1st, 2nd, and 3rd to see where I'm at. And I'll probably be taking measurements at that point too. I had my initial measurements from the beginning of February and I only did a waist and hip measurement this time just because like my arms will take care of themselves, my legs will take care of themselves, but I think it's really important to know the number of my like um, what they refer to as like your umbilical region because that's supposed to be the greatest determinant of your risk of adverse health so like the higher the number <laughs> the worse it is because you have all that fat covering your organs so um, yeah they say that it's supposed to be um, half of your height or less so I'm 70 inches on average so mine should be 35 or less without sucking in. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get some potatoes in me and I'm definitely gonna take a nap. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my car. Uh, if you don't watch my stories on Instagram, welcome the first time into my car. <laughs> Uh, I'm waiting for my work to start right now. I ended up coming in a little bit too early, unfortunately. Now I have to wait because you can't like clock in or start time until like a certain amount of time before the actual time that you're supposed to be there. So I have like five minutes to kill. And uh, yeah, so my job, I just got it. Um, I'm a driving instructor. <laughs> This is a job that I like was not ever on my radar as something that I would do in my life. Um, but like so far it's going like okay. Like I know I said I have feelings about it. I still have feelings about it. But um, today is the first day that I get to take a student out all by myself. So hopefully I don't die and the first girl that I'm taking out, I think this is her first time driving like with us, so I get to like teach her all the things. <laughs> yeah, so that'll be cool, I think. I think it'll be good. I think, yeah. Um, let's see, what else? Like I had my leftover potato tacos today uh, for lunch before I came in. They were fucking dope. Dude, oh my god, you guys have to eat some potato tacos with that. The tofu taco meat is my favorite part. It's so good. I put it in like all of the burritos that I make. And it's just like extra firm tofu. Um, like I don't I don't press tofu because like I'm fucking lazy and like what even is the point? So I just like you slice open the thing like two like it comes in a square, right? So I slice it like this, dump out the water, like I'll squeeze it. A little bit in the package just so it's like less wet and then I just like dump the fucker into a frying pan and let it do its thing sometimes if I'm not like in a rush or whatever like really wanting to eat it I'll let it like kind of crisp or like brown a little bit 
Um, but a lot of times it just takes too fucking long to do that. So I'm, who cares? Like it doesn't really need, need to be cooked. It's not fucking meat. It's not going to kill you, you know? Um, so I just do that. And then I put, I use burritos. It's B-E-A-R-I-T-O-S. I'll put a link down in the description box of this taco seasoning. <sighs> Uh, it's like the best fucking thing I love it it's like it's a little salty I would say so sometimes I only use like half the packet or like part of the packet instead of using the whole packet and I um whole block of tofu it just depends but so fucking good it's probably the salt that makes it fucking good which is unfortunate but um yeah just like those two things and so I used to make taco meat like with ground beef and I would use like the old El Paso taco seasoning whatever kind of comp some whatever comes in like a packet taco seasoning so you would just like brown the stuff and then you put the taco seasoning dry like this and then you pour water so it like simmers in the sauce and it just so good and I got some um, oil free refried beans and I use some no salt corn out of a can and uh, mix that together put a little cumin and some garlic and onion powder in there I usually don't spice up my refried beans because I just like refried beans like as is but I figured why not and uh, yeah put them bitches like put that with the taco meat on top of the potato and put some yellow onion and some tomato and some fucking romaine and I made this delicious super spicy um cilantro garlic sauce that, that I found on the McDougal app and if you don't have the McDougal app and you're in the plant-based community get it even if you're not in the plant-based community just fucking get it because all the recipes are oil free they're low salt they're low fat for the most part some of the some of the recipes um, have a little bit more fat and sugar in them and probably a little bit more salt too like depending but they're all oil free number one um, so yeah it's I I judged it up is what I call it so I used like a whole a whole box of tofu and so then I ended up using like two big handfuls of cilantro um, which was like a little bit more than the recipe called for which was two cups and then I put in like seven cloves of garlic um, just because I like garlic a lot and that bitch got fucking hot like it kicks you in the in the in the trout as they say um, but it turned out really well I'm gonna add I think a little bit more lemon juice and a little bit more soy sauce to the batch that I made um, I don't ever measure anything when I'm cooking like you have to when you're baking but when I'm cooking like I just do it by smell and by taste so uh, yeah I think like I added some onion powder and I added like I didn't measure the lemon juice and I didn't um, I really didn't measure anything so but it turned out really well and yeah so I'm just gonna add a little bit more stuff to it I think to make it a little bit better so it's time for me to go in now I'll see you guys later okay bye Hey everybody! <laughs> Sitting in my car again. You know how I do. I'm uh, in between drives right now. Just taking my break. I'm, like soaking it in because tomorrow I gotta fucking work all day. Which is cool. I mean that's fine. I need I need the money, so and my job is it's pretty fun. Haven't had any like bad experiences yet. Which is cool. I mean, I'm sure they're gonna come at some point. But, yeah. Um, I wanted to give a hardcore shout out to Chantal from The Chantal Show. I've been watching her um, new life, I guess. Uh, she's, I guess, got her following from doing mukbang videos. Um, I didn't really look like too far down her timeline, but um, it looked like a, a lot of like fast food and stuff and so she's made this like 180, I was gonna say 360, that, that's back at start, but 180 degree turn from doing that stuff to uh, a plant-based diet, which I am like so excited for her. 
Like, I love to see people making positive changes for themselves, especially when it's going down a track that is so, like, healthy, you know? And it's so backed by science and, like... And she said she's doing a lot of research, which is, like, super awesome, I think. She's, like, watching documentaries and, like, reading the research. And she seems to have, like, a good handle on what she's doing for herself. So, like big claps like I'm so excited for her journey like and yeah like Chantal if you see this like if you ever need anything like if you have questions about plant-based lifestyle or eating healthy on a plant-based lifestyle or like not losing your freaking mind when you're transitioning or trying to lose weight or something like that like hit me up girl like I got your back um it's just like so cool seeing people making positive changes for themselves and it's not just like changing her diet like she's doing it for health purposes which I think is a really good reason to do stuff like it's it's the best reason I think because you're doing it for yourself not taking anything else like into consideration like from other people like you're not being like oh I want to get hotter for my husband or whatever um so yeah props props go keep it up It'll only get easier from here, I swear. Like, even me, it's what, day f seven? I don't know. What day is it? I don't even fucking know. But whatever day I started on April 1st, um, back onto my no oil stuff. After the first three days, man, like, once you power through that, like, hardcore grip of the pleasure trap, it's so much, like, more freeing. It gets so much easier like I felt it after day three I was like this is already easy I would say it's already easier because like I still kind of want to like go get some fucking Chipotle but like um yeah so today I didn't get my potato before work because it was early and I fucking hate eating breakfast so I just like whipped up some oatmeal and some blueberries and put it in a to-go box and brought it with me to have here for my lunch and I had a one of those forager, non-dairy, cashew-based, delicious fucking yogurts. I had the strawberry kind this time. I really want the lemon to be better. If you hear this, forager, I need the lemon to be better. But the strawberry was really good. I liked it. I had that um, earlier. I just like, food just does not sit well with me when I first wake up. I just can't do it, man. I'm not even like hungry when I wake up, so fuck it so yeah I'm like really excited to eat a fucking potato when I get home I'm, like so excited I have one more drive today I gotta go pick this kid up from his house what even is that <laughs> but yeah we'll see what kind of mess we can get into <laughs> Woohoo! all right guys uh, I'll check you later okay bye for potato tacos round two, we're having some Comrade Cluck in the burrito seasoning. Um, looking pretty good there. And we're having another round of oil-free refried beans with corn. And this is the Comrade Cluck. It's made by No Evil Foods. Um, it's a chicken replacement. Uh, super good. Some props out to some plant the plant-based people. And <laughs> these are the ingredients. So it comes just in this like block, <laughs> that's what my hand is saying, <laughs> and um, it shreds up just like chicken, so you could use it in like fajitas or street tacos or whatever um, for another recipe that I, I would probably choose to dice it up, so I just need to spend some more time with it and get used to using it, but it turned out really well. Um, yeah, I definitely just need to, like, practice with it more, but highly recommend Comrade Cluck. No Evil Foods actually has, like, a bunch of different stuff, so check them out. I'll put a link in the description box. Welcome back to my car. It's a lovely Sunday morning in Colorado. It's fucking cold out, and I guess it's not as cold. It was really cold, like, two days ago. It was, like, 29. I think the seasons are getting confused. It's weird, but it's like windy as shit out. So this is gonna be a fun day if I get to drive on the highway with these kids. 
Um, so I have a few minutes before work again, and, um, I got my guilty pleasure this morning. <sighs> I gotta stop with the Starbucks, man. Like, my friend Justina is like, why the fuck? Can you just get local coffee? <laughs> so I'm really gonna try. There is a spot, like, um, a couple blocks from my house that I can, like, walk to, but... Who has time to walk? That's silly. But I'll figure something out. Anyway. So this week, so that marks one week since I've been doing stuff instead of not doing stuff. And I've done a pretty good job, I think. Like, um, I hit my starch targets 90.5% last week. And I just missed like four days of exercise. <laughs> So I really need to like focus on trying to get that in. Um, I ran one day and then uh, I had two ballroom dance things. So that counts as exercise. <laughs> lucky, lucky. Um, so my eating has been really well. I have not had any added oil. I've only eaten at home, which is saving me a ton of money. So I'm, that makes me stay on my budget and I'm not buying shit online like every two seconds like fuck you Instagram ads fuck you I don't know how much shit I bought from there but enough I got one of these like tentacle things does not work in the fucking car so my steering wheel is doing a better job at holding my phone than the tentacle thing I'm sure it'll work like it does stick and it does like work in other places but like whatever material my steering wheel was made out of it's just not having it and my phone like ended up being like heavy or something I don't, I don't know it doesn't matter um so I'm not shopping online I'm eating really well I'm hitting my starch targets because I wanted to do 85% or greater so I hit that um I haven't weighed myself again and it's weird, like, I've been checking out, like, my stomach to see if, like, any bloat or anything is going down. And I guess I must not have, like, a lot of water weight or anything because, like, my body's just hanging out. And, like, it's funny because, like, the lower part of my abs, like, right above, like, my, what is it called? Like, a pubis bone or something? Like, right before you get down into your hoo-ha, it's, like, flat. And then it's, like, bloop. <laughs> my little like fupa pouch thing that's just hanging out and like they say that weight comes off of your stomach easier or whatever it's it's more like readily used or something like the fat there so in the past like when I was younger that was the first place that I noticed that I was losing weight and um like two summers ago when I was doing Rato 4 I could tell that I was leaning out there like a lot and it's funny that um, I was listening to this Dr. Lyle lecture and he was saying about how much fat that you lose um, if you're eating like a high carb, low fat diet. And it's like when people are like, oh, like one pound, look at how much. But it's like you don't lose like this much from like one spot, you know, it's all throughout your body. So it's hard to kind of like think about it and if you're worrying about it every single day I mean like how much fat am I losing how much weight am I gaining yada 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 it'll drive you fucking insane you know you had a long process and if you're doing it healthfully then you just need to chill out on it because if you're stressed it's not gonna fucking help and that includes over exercising that's stressing you out too with your mind and your body so I don't have a problem with over-exercising, obviously. <laughs> I need to throw in, like, a walk around the block or something and call it good, just like McDougal says. He's like, eat the right food, take the dog on a walk, the end. You don't need to be spending two hours in the gym. Um, unless, I mean, unless that your goals dictate that. Like, if you want to be a figure competitor, I'm sure you have to spend a lot more time in the gym getting your physique all nice but that ain't me man I just want to be healthy healthier so yeah 
week one went really well. I'm not really having like cravings or anything. Especially since I'm not like limiting myself on like added sugar. Um, I'll have like a piece of chocolate or like a square like that. Like you know how Giardelli or whatever it comes in like a square. In the big bar you have like a square. <laughs> and since I don't have like a sugar thing that's enough for me. I don't it doesn't bother me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bake up some more potatoes tonight. Just keep eating potatoes. Potatoes are like the easiest one to eat. And if you've listened to McDougal or like Andrew Taylor, Spud Fit, like potatoes are whole. You know, you don't need to add anything else in order to get like all the vitamins or like enough protein or enough fat. Like they're just the best. Um, yeah, so potatoes, man. Those potato tacos that I made last night with the um, Comrade Cluck turned out really well. I need to like work with the Comrade Cluck a little bit more. Um, I wish I would have like opened up the package and like diced it up into like smaller like kind of taco pieces instead of like shredding it like chicken. Um, cause that would have been better just for the meal that I was making. And also I would choose to use maybe like half of the burrito seasoning cause it ended up being like a little salty. It worked out okay like when I put everything together because everything else was really low salt. So it wasn't like, wow. But when you just eat it out the pan, it was kind of salty. And I fucked up my sauce cause I forgot I needed a big ass block of silken tofu. So I made um, the sauce, but I used that forager plain cashew yogurt that I had in the fridge. And the taste is really good. It just doesn't have the right consistency. So if I had some cornstarch, I would have thrown it in there just to kind of thicken it up. But, um, yeah, I'll probably do that tonight. I'll run over and get some cornstarch just so I can thicken up my sauce a little bit. And then I think I'm going to make a chili. I just had this idea just now that I should make a chili for my potatoes after this taco stuff is gone. Because I make the best chili ever. And it's delicious on top of potatoes. So, uh, I guess that's it. Probably should go in now. Gotta go drive some kids around for six hours straight. <laughs> uh, yeah, I needed that fucking Starbucks this morning. I'm gonna be fucking hungry for a potato later. All right. One of these days, I'm gonna upload all these videos. Okay. <sighs> okay, bye. Welcome to another day in my car before work. <laughs> uh, today is day eight, I guess, of this um, month. <laughs> like, since I started, it's the ninth today, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. So, yeah, uh, I'm kind of having a fucking off day already this morning. This morning, it's fucking almost two o'clock in the afternoon. But, um... Yeah, I kind of like, I slept pretty late. I'm still not really trying to get my sleep schedule in order, which is bad news bears. Like, I really need to fucking work on that. But, um, yeah, like I slept in a little bit and then I did my Spanish, which is getting like more difficult because they're using words that like, I didn't learn in the previous times I learned Spanish, so I started in like 8th grade, I think. 8th grade, then I took it in ninth grade, and I took it for like half a semester in 10th grade, and then I dropped out. And so, yeah, I'm like learning words I have not ever seen before. And Duolingo seems to think that I'm 50% fluent in Spanish, which if you asked me, I would be like 5% fluent in Spanish. Um, but yeah, I'm still working on it. And so then I was like, well, I really need to practice piano before work because when I get off of work, I'm just fucking tired. Like, it's crazy how much energy it takes to sit in the passenger seat of a moving vehicle and pay attention to what the fuck is going on. Like, if you're just cruising and you don't have to pay attention to what's going on, 
it's like whatever y'all you could just like daydream stare out the window sing along to music you know work on your math homework whatever but since I have to be like present with the students it's just like a fucking drain man and so when I get home I just want to go to sleep and I usually don't which is like bad news number one um and then I also have to eat so it's just like fucked so when I get home I usually will eat and then I'll try and practice piano and my brain is just not open to learning so I try to do it before work today and my brain is not open to learning that soon after I work work after I wake up either unfortunately so I'm gonna have to figure something out like if I start actually getting my sleep schedule on point I would end up getting up like five hours before work instead of two hours before work or something like that and so I would have time to like wake up like have lunch which is technically my breakfast um do my Spanish like chill out like get the juices like flowing my brain talking to each side of itself and um then go for it and like I tried to record myself doing Mad World by I think his name is Gary Jules like three times and I fucked it up so hard like I had to stop so I'm gonna put that on the piano the fuck up piano part of my channel I don't know what those things are called when you like separate it but yeah so that's gonna be a thing that I'm doing and so yeah I was not having it like I barely squeaked through that mama's and the papa's like I'm getting it okay I just need to get the timing down between the left and the right hand and then I think I just need to like slow my roll on it I, I think like I've been skipping forward to work on songs that I actually like instead of going through step by step by step through the app through their training process because I got to a point that I was just like I'm fucking bored I don't like these songs and you're pissing me off so I kind of skipped ahead excuse me and so I tried to go back to like where I was where I like got frustrated and <laughs> I ended up being frustrated still because I had stopped at the breakdown of Daft Punk's Get Lucky and I went and learned that song on my own so I already knew how to play the whole thing so then I had to sit through the fucking breakdown because it wouldn't let me skip it and now I'm at the point after that where you have to play like three songs and get like X amount of stars and I tried to play time of your life or whatever the thing from dirty dancing there's just like some combination of chords that especially when my brain is not fully functional that i just like cannot get so this one wants me to go from like g to e minor to f and like my brain is like does not compute so i like fuck the shit out of that fucking song in a bad way and so I just kind of, and I started learning, um, fuck, what is that song? I don't know, another song that I got like two seconds into it and I was like, I can't do this anymore. And I was already at my hour anyway, so I said, fuck it for the day. It's crazy. So I'm going to have to figure something out, but yeah, I think that's it so far. I have three drives today, so that's going to be a bitch it's like six fucking hours in the car <sighs> whatever gotta make them dollars right because <laughs> i gotta pay for these fucking ballroom lessons man fucking the system like why are you making this shit so expensive like i understand that i'm taking up individualized time from another human being that <sighs> this is their job and I need to pay them for their time. I 100% get that. But fuck, man. It's fucking expensive. You don't even want to know how much money's I'd be fucking spending on this shit. Where is that fucking breakdown thing that I have in here? 
this is what they gave me last time. So I initially, I was, I'm in the, at the Fred Astaire school and, um, they, so I'm in their beginners program. So now I'm getting bumped up to their like social foundations or some shit. And the first time I got five private lessons and I had some group and party lessons that rolled over into this program. And I think I still have a couple of those left. Watch this shit. How much money they want from me. For 10 lessons. Can you fucking see that shit? 10 private lessons. Fucking $1,200. What? I don't care how good of a fucking dancer you are. That's a lot of fucking money to be charging me for an hour of your time. It's not even an hour. It's 40 minutes. And you get to do something that you love all day long and get paid out the ass for it. So, fuck you. I'm probably going to end up paying it anyways because I want to keep doing ballroom, but I'm mad about it. I have feelings about it. <sighs> okay. I got to go in now. I got to get my day started. So, I'll see you guys. Okay, bye.